Okay, Bismillah ar rahim uh, peace upon you. I'm Dr. Taha. Uh, today we'll talk about the interscaling block. In this video, I will show the out of plate technique. Uh, it's just my preference. And many points you'll see in this video, I prefer to do the block in these techniques. Uh, interscaling block is a very successful block. It can be used alone for clavicle surgery and for shoulder surgery and for other arm surgery without joint anesthesia, just interscalinal. Most of the time, it can spread also to superficial cervical plexus. The out blend technique is a very simple technique and can be achieved in 30 seconds. First, if I'm going to block the right side, I stand about in, at this position, on the, close to the head of the patient, on the right side, and I lift the head, this head up to be close, they should make the patient close to me, and the patient head is just at this edge. So it is as possible close to me. Then I tilt his head to this direction, and I play the ultrasound machine just yeah, yeah. in front of me so I can simply just the needle and I'm looking same time to the machine. When the probe is placed, the mark is always oriented to the left. Okay? So first the probe will be placed in the come down with me, not from here. The probe is placed first in the supraclavicular fossa and aimed codally. We want to identify the subclavian artery. Once you identify the artery, the Brachial plexus is just above and lateral to the artery. The brachial plexus lies superficial and lateral to subclavian artery. Both the artery and the plexus lie between the scalenes anterior muscle medially and the scalenes medius muscle laterally, with the pleura and first rib lies deep. Once you identify the artery, tilt the probe slightly like this before you slide it proximally. While you're sliding the probe, fix your eye on the brachial plexus. At the desired level, stop the probe. With proximal sliding of the probe, usually, but not always, roots and trunks of brachial plexus can be seen between the two scalenous muscles. It is important to identify the vertebral artery, which lies medial and posterior to the plexus. And advance the needle from this direction. So this will be an out of plane technique. With good experience, the needle tip can be seen as clear as that in the in plane technique. Local anesthetic is placed anterior and posterior to the apical plexus. Five to ten ml of local anesthetic is usually enough, but sometimes twenty ml may be used. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yes, I am fine. Okay, good. Leave it, Molly. A little bit more. 